We're from London. So how you doing? I'm good. I'm happy. Happy to see the UK people talking to me. Do you feel a connection to the UK still? I do. Still? Are you kidding me? I live in London. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. No, I I love the I love London. I love the UK. Um, it's my second home. My cats are there. Oh, bless you. I know. What are their names? Lola and Lucas. So I know. They they walk around the neighborhood chasing foxes. Oh, I thought you were going to say thugs for a moment. <laughs> well, almost. It's kind of the same. So we just watched your video for Dancing in the Rain. Uh -huh. And you can dance. I didn't know I could, but I can. You didn't realize? I didn't. I, I started a week before the filming. Um, and yeah, it was fun. Wow. Because I have to admit, we thought it was a body double for a split second. Yeah, no, it was me. <laughs> that big butt, it's mine. <laughs> Fantastic. It can only be mine. And the man who dances with you. I know. Will, I know. Will he be with you in Copenhagen? I hope so. But he's not. Because you revealed your four backing, yeah. and then there's you, so there's one more person. So we're wondering, is it that gone? <laughs> Now, the song Dancing in the Rain. Yes. Was it hard to write? No, it actually, it, it was a song that just was born quickly. You know, sometimes you've got things to say and it comes out like that. So, yeah, it's a song that I wrote whilst I was in doing my writing sessions in London with um, the writing team that I normally work with. Um, I wrote the chorus whilst I was out celebrating a birthday in Covent Garden and I, I remember I recorded it on my iPhone and then I went in the studio the day after and I said guys I think I've got something here so was it raining that night it was and I was going through a really tough time I had just um, um, rejected the, the record deal that I had been signed to for a year things were not going the right way and so I decided to give the money back and do what my heart said so it was a hard time because I thought, what's going to happen now, you know? Well, you made it. Yeah, well, I kept dancing in the rain. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, there was a lot of rain after the national final in Spain. Uh-huh. Because Spaniards are passionate about their music. Yes. Um, your fans love you. Briquette's fans love Briquette. Yeah. Was it a difficult period? Oh, I love controversy. I love, love it when things are, ah, uh, you know? It makes you feel alive. If things were too easy, what's the purpose? Yeah, you need to have dark night and day to be able to enjoy both. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. And you're currently, we have a contest called Eurovision's Next Top Model on our website, and you're doing very well. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, you're beautiful. My size? Uh, no, you're perfect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How do you describe your style? My style depends on the day. I don't have a style. In fact, I always think I'm the least fashionable human being on earth. Absolutely not. Thank you. Top shop. <laughs> Kurt Geiger. Oh my God. I'm London. <laughs> McQueen. Yep. Brilliant. And final question for you, because everyone wants a piece of you in this room. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a message for your fans on WeWeBlogs.com? The message is thank you. Thanks for keeping Eurovision alive and for making it such an event. And yeah, dance with me in the rain. Vote for me, please. I need to win. Mucho gracias. De nada. Gracias a ti.